transformations of functions. We're at 9.2c. We have four previous videos for Chapter 9 that are in the description in the Geometry Playlist. Transformations can be used to graph complicated functions by using the graphs of similar functions called parent functions. Here's some examples of parent functions and their graphs. So here is y is equal to the absolute value of x. Here is y is equal to the square root of x. And here is y equals x squared. Transformations of a parent function y equals f of x for reflection across the x-axis we would have y equals the negative function, the inverse function of x. For across the y-axis, we'd have y equals f of negative x. If you don't know about inverse functions, we covered it in 6.1d, and there'll be a link in the description. For a vertical translation, y equals f of x plus k. And the k is going to be the up or down. It's going to be up k units if k is greater than 0, and it'll be down k units if k is less than 0. For a horizontal translation, y equals f of x minus h. So that's going to be the horizontal left or right. It'll go right h units if h is greater than 0, and left h units if h is less than 0. An apparent function is the simplest function with the defining characteristics of the family. And functions in the same family are transformations of their parent functions. For the parent function y equals x squared, we can write a function rule for the given transformation and graph the preimage and the image. When the parent function is y equals x squared, that would be this blue line. And the reflection across the x-axis, we would have y equals negative x squared for the function rule. It would be this pink line, pink graph. A translation up two units and right three units, our function rule would be y equals x minus three squared plus two. Here's our right three units. Here's our up two units. Here's our parent function, y equals x squared and Here's our y equals x minus 3 squared plus 2. You can see it moved over 3 and went up 2. Remember the y values change as they cross the x-axis and the x values change as they cross the y-axis. For each parent function, we can write a function rule for the given transformation and graph the preimage and the image. So, for the parent function y equals x squared, this blue one, for a transformation, a translation down one unit and right four units, we have y equals x minus four squared minus one, and the pink one would be at graphed. For a parent function y equals the square root of x, that would be the blue part here, our transformation or reflection across the x-axis would be y equals negative x squared. See? It's just reflecting across the x-axis. An apparent function y equals the absolute value of x, that would be the blue one. Our transformation, a translation up two units, so we've got a plus two, and left one unit, so we have a plus one. That would be the pink one. See? So our next lesson is 9.3, and we're going to be starting with identifying rotations, then we're going to draw rotations in the coordinate plane, then we're going to go on to composition of transformations and glide reflections and symmetry and solids of revolution. Okay? So that's transformations of functions. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a good day, and I hope I see you next time. Bye.